Hello there from Knott's Berry Farm. Knott's Scary Farm Week. It's Monday of Knott's Scary Farm Week. We're here, you can see the decor behind us here up on the old ticket booths there and also up on the signage. There's more banners up on the street. There's warning signs about the Scary Farm bag policy, all sorts of fun stuff. And we know there's even a whole lot more insights since our last video last week when we did our live. So let's get to it and check out what we can find in the soon to be fog, but a clear California day right now. So we are in love with all these 50s all over the park and outside here on the ticket booths. We're really hoping there's a way to get a hold of some of this type of 50th stuff when the season is over, kind of like with the 100th anniversary for Knott's because they look fantastic. And then we've got here more of those 50th. Those are probably some of the best we've seen here. And then, of course, we've got our scary farm signage up there. And as we make our way in turn south, more great 50 knots there. But coming together, the big entry statement here. Super excited to see how this looks. I know we talked about it in our last video. Now we actually got some visuals there to go with it. And then to the side of the statement, we've got our familiar face there, as well as one of those set pieces all set up and ready to go to help flesh out this scene. And here we go. All right, got our pumpkins out here. All right, one of the fun additions this year is a call back to some scary farm history, some Halloween haunt history, which is giving our characters in the peak end some Halloween flavor. So this is super cool. We just saw our first one. Let's go check them out. All right, so the say office to start here. So freaking cool. This touch probably doesn't mean much to people that aren't like, big into scary farm history, but uh, those that are familiar with these peak ends, some of that history, I think are gonna go nuts over it. It's another one of the nice ways this year that the event can hit both sides of the fence in terms of those that know the history and those that may not. Another great one here. So cool. Let's visit the sheriffs. There we go. Love all the pumpkins everywhere. Works for Spooky Farm, also works to set the tone for Scary Farm as well, although you won't be seeing it underneath the netting in the darkness of the fog. And into the post office. And this is a fun, scary looking figure over here in it's been the nod to Sarah Marshall during Taste of Halloween. You can see the little move right there. All right, and then in the toy shop, Barry was bad. We've got the creepy little girl as well. All right, now in the mortuary, we've got this year round fun haunt fix, but it's been plussed up for the 50th. We've got the ghost appearing as he transforms over into his uh, deathly demise. And then since our last visit here by the rapids, the spiders have taken over. We talked about it last time, them coming in and, and there's the big one right there that if you buy the lantern should trigger him some movement. 
I'm really curious about this guy up here. He's appeared in the last week above the ice cream shop there. Looks like a fun prop up there, but uh, not sure what they're gonna do with them. And since our last visit, the wheel is out. It's really something to behold. Seeing uh, the talent try to maintain their balance up there. And then the stage looking great once again. Kind of all grotesque. One of the exciting things this year is all the little additions, all the plus ups, like we've seen with Ghost Town, all that, but that we're seeing also in Carnival. Carnival, the actors work so incredibly hard out there with like nothing much to work with. No real fog, no real set pieces, but they're getting some toys to play with this year and I'm super excited about that. And here we go. Fantastic set piece additions for Carnival this year. There's another one of those Jack in the Boxes midway through the midway. And they've got all sorts of fun signage like the Strongman and more. Spadora. Now we are at Boardwalk. No dark ride this year. We'll get some touches here for Cinema Slasher and that Ghoul Time marquee. That is fantastic. Still excited to see what this is all going to look like once it's all fully out with the lighting and everything else for uh, opening night here coming up. Not a lot to see in uh, Camp Snoopy that's new. We've got some signage covered up and some, um, the stage is still out without any decor, but nothing that was super exciting to do video of. So left that alone there. I do like, not that this is super exciting, but I do, it's another one of those pole goals I really love to see every year. These things are just iconic, fun. And don't forget the bag policy for this year at Scary Farm. The Scary Farm street banners are up, ready to go. All right, we're all wrapped up from Knott's this time. We'll say just one thing to be aware of. We found the hours to be really inconsistent with the Legacy Haunt store. So this is, I think, the fourth time we've gone there when it says it should be open on the website and they are closed again. So we kind of rushed out of the park to get there to make sure we were in good shape, but it uh, didn't happen. So just be careful about that if you're heading out to the park. Not really sure what to do about that because it just seems really inconsistent. So that said, fun seeing all the new Halloween decor, all the Scary Farm stuff out there. We'll have a lot more. We will have a live at the beginning of opening night there for that opening moment. All the monsters crashing out. The uh, scene kicking off the 50th. So tune in for that. We'll have a link up on the channel really soon. And we'll have lots of videos up just in general from Scary Farm this season as well as a lot of other Halloween stuff. So wrapping up for tonight. Until next time, we'll see you in line somewhere. <laughs>